Hi. We're gonna see how the nesting tool works. Okay, first of all, click on the nesting tool and we're gonna add the different objects that we want to nest. Okay, just select the five objects and validate. Here it will appear the objects that we have select. Okay, and we have different parameters to change to these five objects. Okay, the first one is the number of copies that we want for every object. The second one is the priority. For example, if we want to set that this object is more important than the others and it has to be nested at the beginning. So then we have the different rotation parameters. Okay, 90 by 90, 60 by 60, free rotation, etc. Okay, and finally we have the criterion. Okay, we can set a minimum size by x, by y, etc. Okay. If we go to the next tab, okay, here we can create our our new panel. Okay, we can set the size manually, or we can create a new panel by selecting a curve. Okay, when we select the curve, it will automatically type the the new size. Okay, and if we mouse over it, we can check all the properties of of the panel that we have created. Okay, here we have our breast panel. Okay, in custom, we can load all our properties that we want for for our sheet okay the distance item to item distance item by sheet for example two okay and some other parameters if we want to use these properties later we can save the preset for example preset one okay and we can use it wherever we want mousing over it will show us again the different properties okay and that's all that we need to start nesting, okay, the panel and the properties. Okay, so just click on start. Okay, and it will automatically create an overview of the different panels that we have need to to nest all these objects, okay, and the optimization percentage of of every sheet. Okay, this is the the result. Okay, we have need for for panels to to create the nesting of the 50 copies of every object okay and the last step are the reports okay we have different formats to report this nesting if you want to add just check it okay i'm going to export to gxf and to jpeg when we click on finish it's going to request us for for a new folder so we're going to create a new one we're going to name it report okay and just save all those reports okay the report is done okay so here we have our nesting perfect and here we have our report files okay the first one are the the DXF files okay and the others are the reports JPEG images okay this is the the first one the second the third and the fourth Okay, so that's all. Here we have our reports and here we have our nesting. That's a complex tool but also so powerful. So I hope you like it and, and thanks for watching.